Debbie might have had her heart broken on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way, but her choice to leave her younger boyfriend is widely supported. Debbie Aguero appeared on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way season 4 to show her love story with young Moroccan native Osama, only to end up single as the season ended. However, Debbie has received a lot of support from 90 Day Fiancé fans after seeing how she stood up for herself throughout their relationship. Now, Debbie's being praised for dumping Osama, which appears to be the best choice for both of them. Older American woman Debbie fell for the young artist Osama despite their over four-decade age gap after they connected online through art and poetry. She packed up her life in Georgia and planned to permanently move to Rabat, Morocco, during 90 Day Fiancé, the other way season four. However, Debbie discovered that Osama wanted to move with her to the United States and had zero intentions to live with her in Morocco. This led to her dumping him in the most recent episode. Reddit user U slash puzzleheaded lie 7919 started a thread to congratulate Debbie on dumping Osama as she finally saw the truth about her younger partner. Yes, Debbie took Awafaf, the rose-colored glasses, and gamey him hell. The user wrote, Debbie showed her true but has he off today. She told him I bought money and I will not be used for a green card. The user continued. Many of the current 90-day fans say, the other way cast members have failed to stand up for themselves in their messy relationships. Seeing Debbie catch a glimpse of the real Osama and recognize her worth was a triumphant moment for her and for viewers to see. Debbie's choice to dump Osama is supported by viewers after the way he lied to her. Debbie thought she was moving to Rabat. However, Osama purposely waited until she arrived with all her luggage to inform her that he would be moving to the U.S. with her. The 24-year-old purposely withheld information from Debbie in order to get her to Morocco to marry him. Debbie called Osama's actions a bait and switch of the most cruel kind as he said he declared himself her hero when he was actually the villain. Osama purposely mislead Debbie, which ultimately caused her emotional pain. When Debbie arrived in Morocco, she wanted to plan a future with Osama. Debbie had already packed up her life in the U.S., including saying goodbye to her children and getting her finances and property in order. She then worked on building a future with Osama, which she planned to finance. However, Osama flat out refused to discuss his future with Debbie. He maintained that he was focused on painting when Debbie wanted to talk and was not planning to have the conversation later. Osama and Debbie converse differently and have different needs, making them incompatible as romantic partners. Osama and Debbie had a large age gap in their relationship, but it wasn't the reason they were incompatible. Debbie got along with Osama's parents, and the couple didn't have issues over having kids. However, it became clear that they had different lifestyle expectations. Debbie wanted to live in a private apartment in Rabat with Osama. However, Osama lived with his parents and wanted to go to the U.S. with Debbie. Debbie was uncomfortable at Osama's parents' home, as she was not accustomed to their way of living. There was also a language barrier between Debbie and her potential in-laws. While Debbie had dreams of living out her golden years in Rabat, Osama had very different plans for his life. This was one of the biggest reasons the couple needed to break up, as their dreams didn't match up. The young artist had lofty ambitions of moving to the U.S. and making it big as an artist or poet. However, Debbie had already said goodbye to her life in the U.S. Unfortunately, Debbie and Osama could not be a couple and have both of their dreams. By breaking up with Osama, Debbie freed them to find a better life for themselves that makes them individually fulfilled and happy. While Debbie has her flaws, she still came across as sweet, honest, and outspoken. In her relationship with Osama, she simply wanted love in her golden years of life. Debbie was open about her wants and needs and was willing to be a fair partner to Osama. The 43-year-old deserves a partner who could return what she gave, something Osama wasn't able to provide. Osama made it clear to his sister Asma that he had been scheming from the beginning of his romance with Debbie to move with her to the U.S. Overall, Debbie deserves to be with someone who isn't plotting behind her back. Rather than hold on to a relationship that wasn't working, Debbie had the strength to dump Osama. As evidenced by fan comments, she is now a popular 90-day fiancé franchise newcomer who inspired viewers with her actions. Angela should take a lesson. Debbie got her point across without screaming, cursing, shoving, or bullying. Maybe we should all see this as an example of taking a high road. Good for you, Debbie, one Reddit fan congratulated her. She really held her head up high, and I don't think we see that much on this show. 
It was actually really refreshing to see someone stand up for themselves and leave. Another user agreed. Overall, Debbie made the best choice for herself when she ended things with Aosama. However, Debbie's popularity in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise could also mean that her breakup with Aosama isn't the end of her reality TV journey. Debbie would be a welcome addition to the popular 90 Day Fiancé franchise spin-off, 90 Day, The Single Life. The Georgia mother might be cast in the series so that she can find an honest partner. This would give her the chance to find her real soulmate and get over Aosama.